What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be about batter tendencies, pitcher tendencies, and my approach in ranked seasons when I'm hitting and when I'm pitching. So if these are videos that you like, be sure to like, subscribe if you're new, and turn notifications on. And if you guys have any suggestions on what to I could add to this video to make it better, drop in the comments down below. It's my first time attempting this, so editing it and stuff is a little rough, but hopefully as we go on, we can get better and better and better at this. And I can give you guys like live commentary for these rank seasons game if that's what you guys enjoy. But without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Greg Maddox. Ball. Why am I swinging first pitch, guys? Especially because we got to get the timing down. Good timing, but I'm just miss. I just missed it. Good timing, but we just missed it. Ball four, take your base. I die. Batting third. No. Oh, dude, the amount of perfect perfect outs I've been getting on like those line drives has been crazy. I literally thought that was gonna be an out. Down is full. Tempted to hit and run here, but. Never mind. Just underneath it, man. Gotta get my PCI fly. better. In there we go. Candelario with a three run shot. Two outs. Let's go. Three nothing. Perfect, perfect up the middle. Get down. Let's go. All right. Both of our perfect, perfects have been hit. So that's good. That's a good sign so far. Oh, perfect, perfect, Brandon Crawford. We adjust it to the fastball there. We go oppo taco with Brandon Crawford. That gives us a five nothing lead. Oh, get over, dude, Gary. You got totally screwed right there. You got totally got launch angled. That was a great swing by Gary. Oh no, don't love that. We don't love that. That's the only thing with, uh, that's the only thing with analog, man. It's so much easier to mess up your pitches. Sea ball. Let's go. Get that run back, Colson. Perfect, perfect, a dead center. Going to give us our run that we just gave up right back. Trout. Ah, uh, it's out of the zone. Good swing, though. Good swing. Let's go. Take that. We take that. Off PCI, but, you know, great timing. I'm telling you, timing sometimes rewards you in this game. It doesn't always have to be a perfect PCI. Timing is everything. We go oppo with that one as well. That's going to get down for a base hit. All right. Two men on. One out. Here comes Mickey. Oh, that's a freaking great pitch, man. That's a base hit. Let's go. Okay. All right. Oh, two. We got to protect the plate here. Any swinging anything close. That's a base hit. Let's go. We love O2 pitches that we can just drive. Now we're going to go back to that cutter, but this time we're going to try to throw it inside here. And we got it. So he's probably expecting fastball again right there. We throw the cutter, it throws him off a little bit, gets underneath it, pops it up to our center fielder, and we're good. There we go. Another pop up inside fastball. Gets underneath it. Thinks we're gonna he tries he's basically slamming his PCI right there. He's literally slamming his PCI. That's why we do not pitch in slam locations. So we're not gonna pitch right down here because that's he can slam his PCI there. So we're gonna raise it a little bit to make it harder to make good contact on it if we raise it just a little bit. Ball. Now he no throws a slider man. inside. He tries to, what, front doors, Ball back count. doors right there. And now we go perfect, perfect. He tries to throw that basically a breaking ball inside again. That time we are absolutely sitting on it and we adjust to it in a perfect, perfect and get another run right there. All right, another first pitch out. This guy's not being patient. He's not taking pitches. 
when you don't take pitches, you tend to not find tendencies of your pitcher and how they're throwing the baseball. So it's not really smart to not take pitches. You kind of want to see patterns. You know, what do they throw first pitch? Uh, like, you know, what do they throw in like two strike counts, 0 and 2 counts? He's not seeing any of that from me because he's swinging very early and very often. So it's like I almost don't even have to try at the plate sometimes because he's literally swinging at everything. Which is, that's kind of what we want, right? As a pitcher. There he is. Like, he's early on that. If he's on time on that, that's an oppo taco home run, but he's early on the cutter. Maybe expecting fastball, we throw him the cutter first pitch, and then he's early on it. And we go perfect, perfect with Jose Abreu, and that's 9-1. to one. He gave us that first pitch again. First pitch fastball, we absolutely destroy it. All right, Gary Sanchez up again. He might throw that sinker right here. If he does, I'm ready for it. He does not, but he throws the fastball over the middle of the plate, and we just got underneath it. Just got underneath it. Oh. All right, he might. I'm ready for it again. Colson Montgomery just missed it just missed it those are all great swings i'll take early outs on those i know i swung early i didn't take a lot of pitches but i made good swings i honestly really think i made some good swings on those baseballs i haven't got him out on this yet really but i'm gonna still throw it i'm not gonna take it out i want to i want to try every once in a while i was gonna get him like right there it got him it was close enough to the strike zone but just outside of the strike zone that he's gonna miss it now we're gonna go back to the same strikeout pitch we got him with the first batter and we get him again. Circle change up, down and in. Got him for the second time this inning on the same pitch. You know we're going to try it again if we get two strikes, because why not? If it worked twice, it might work a third time. Throws the out. Okay, outside right there. Perfect. Hit a spot. He got a lot of that. Unfortunately, Christian Yelich is going to be able to get to it over there. He didn't get enough of it. He's not used to seeing it. We're going to go back to that change up. It's gotten him out before. It's going to get him out again. We're going to keep giving it to him until he can learn to either lay off or wait for a mistake and then crush it. We missed two sinkers in a row, so now we're going to go to the cutter away. He rolls over the top of it. He is really late on that one, or really early, should I say, on the cutter. Got him to roll over it. This time he was early. Got into the double play, and the ball game is over, and we win the ball game at 9 one so i kind of showed you guys exactly why my mentality at the plate what i'm thinking tendencies that i'm looking for when i'm actually hitting the baseball and also when i'm on the mound you know if i see it they're late all the time i'm gonna just spam the pitch until they can prove to me they can hit it the guy got eight hits but he got no runs because we spread out those hits throughout the innings so most of our innings we give up a hit and then we figure out what he what he's looking for and then completely shut him out for the rest of the inning and that's what we did here so we end up with nine runs 13 hits he ends up with one run eight hits jose abreu three for four with a home run Colson montgomery two for four with a home run anthony rendon three for three with a home run and candelario one for four with a home run he hit that three run home run to give us the three nothing lead at the beginning in the first inning and our for the win, Garrel Crochet does get the win. Seven innings pitch, six hits allowed, five strikeouts, one earned run. Our opponent was a 678. He now moves down to 646 after the loss. We were 644. We move up to 676, 24 points away from Hall of Fame difficulty. And we get our World Series reward. We get 17,000 XP. And I need pitching really bad, so I'm honestly... I really think I'm going to go Randy Johnson here. Ernie Banks, as good as you might be. I think Randy Johnson is my choice. And then we're going to try to hit 700 in co-op and get Ernie, Ernie Banks as well. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get Randy Johnson. Add him to the rotation. Thank you, guys. If you guys got to the end of this video, I really do appreciate it. If you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like before you guys leave this video. And if you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on so you guys don't miss out on the next video. And I'll see you guys next time.